now, now that Ronaldo's gone, the club has no choice. You know, the pressure, I mean, I don't, I, it's interesting. It would be really interesting to know what was the expectation on Eric Ten Hag coming into this season? Because if the expectation on Eric Ten Hag from the Manchester United hierarchy was you have to finish in the top four, Eric Ten Hag is well within his rights now to go to that same board and say, you know you want me to finish in the top four. I'm telling you, if you don't get me a striker in January, we're in trouble in terms of reaching that goal. Because even with Cristiano Ronaldo, we were short. There were times when I was playing Rashford up front because, let's face it, Ten Hag just didn't fancy Ronaldo in that position. He wanted more, more fluidity. He wanted, you know, a more a player that was going to press more from the front. Again, someone that maybe was a bit more dynamic and he didn't feel like Ronaldo was that. So we were short with Ronaldo, let alone without him. We've got an Anthony Martial who hasn't completed 90 minutes this season and a Marcus Rashford who isn't even really a striker. He's a left winger. Now, obviously, the pushback to getting Cody Hagpo in January would be, Owen, you do realise that you're buying another left winger in Cody Hagpo because that's where he regularly starts. I believe, and this is just my opinion, you can let me know in the live chat, I believe that realistically, Eric Ten Hag is looking at Cody Hagpo as a bit of a stop hack. <laughs> stop, it does. <laughs> I was trying to do a stop, stop gap, stop gap po. That, that would be better. It'd be better if I did it that way. <laughs> but it didn't work out. Um, he's looking at him as a stopgap, realistically, I think, until the summer. I think United will go big once again in the summer because they always do. I think come the summer, that's when you're going to see that 80 million, 90 million pound signing of a striker, possibly, you know, Oshiman, possibly, I don't know who it's going to be, but I think that's for the summer. I think that United and Ten Hag, and actually, to be fair, I think this is. The, I think this is the right move for United, is get someone who is attainable in January, like Cody Hakpo, who can make a difference, like Cody Hakpo, who can contribute, like Cody Hakpo, but he isn't the long-term solution, solution in terms of finalising who that number nine is going forward, but he can do a job there until we get to the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs>